Good afternoon, guys. Hey, I just wanted to pop on and uh, give you guys some information on the stimulus package. If you already have heard, then great. If not, then maybe this information will help you. Um, the final stimulus deal has been announced. It was yesterday. Um, maybe there's some updated information as of now, but this is what I have. Um, it's already been approved by the House, the Senate, and the White House. It has not been voted on yet, but this was yesterday evening. Maybe that has happened by now. You can look it up. I don't know, but I'll just give you some information on what they're saying. So they're all in agreement. It hasn't been voted on, but this version is expected to pass, okay? There are two things um, that I'm just going to touch on. And the first one is how much will the stimulus checks be? And the second one is who can expect to receive a check? So pay attention. All right. So the checks will be $1,200 for individuals earning up to $75K a year. Um, $2,400 per married couple earning up to $150K per year. That is if you're married filing jointly. Um, if you're filing single, it's twelve hundred up to seventy five k. If you're married filing jointly, it's up to it's twenty four hundred up to um, making one hundred and fifty thousand a year, um, plus a five hundred dollar per child credit um, under the age of seventeen. So you'll get that if you have one kid, you'll get five hundred. If you have two, you'll get a thousand as well as the 1200 or the 2400 okay? So Senator uh, Chuck Grassley spoke on this and said, quote, anyone with a social security number who was not dependent on someone else is eligible, end quote. So this will provide benefit for those on social security. Retirement benefits, people are asking. Will this provide a benefit for those on Social Security retirement benefits? Yes. Um, what about Social Security disability benefits? Yes. These people will be receiving um, the checks. How about Supplemental Security Income or SSI? Yes. But there are income limits and they are as follows. Single filers with an adjusted gross income below 75,000 will receive the full amount. And at the $75,000 threshold, the, benef the benefits will begin to fade. So it goes down, and I'll explain that to you. The benefits will fade out um, above the 75,000. So those filing head of household, the benefits will fa fade out at 112,500. Um, those married filing jointly, they will start to phase out at 150000 So if you're married filing jointly and make 150000 or less, you will be eligible for the full 2400 If you're just a bit over the 150000 say you're a dollar, five dollars, you know, whatever, then that doesn't mean you're not going to get the benefit. It's just going to be phased out. And you can easily figure this out, the amount that you will be getting, if you're going to get a benefit by calculating how much your phase-out amount is going to be by reducing your stimulus benefit by $5 for every 100 So if you're supposed to get 2400 but you're over the 150 k right, then what you do is you um, go, you reduce your benefit by five dollars for every hundred and that's what you'll get um, this income will be based your stimulus income will be based on your 2019 tax returns uh, if you filed them if you have not already filed your 2019 tax returns then it'll be based on your 2018 returns what if you didn't file your taxes you may ask that's okay because if you only received Social Security benefits and you didn't file taxes or your income was otherwise too low, um, tax returns aren't going to be required to claim your money. The government will use information such as a SSA Form 1099 
SSA 1099 form or a Social Security Benefits Verification Statement um, or some other things they will use to verify. So when are these payments going to be made? According to the bill, they will be paid as rapidly as possible. This means no later than December 31st of 2020, although they will most likely be getting them out a lot faster, it sounds like. The payments are going to be made direct deposit via your account to an account that you have authorized for tax refunds or federal payments sometime on or after January 1st, 2018. So whatever account they have um, for you set up for your tax refunds, any federal payments, that's the account that they'll be putting the money into. Uh, you will be receiving a notice uh, to your last known address within 15 days of the payment being made, informing you of the method and amount of payment. Um, so if you get that notice, then, and they tell you, okay, we're going to deposit it into this, you know, if that's not right, then you need to contact them. Um, they will also include a phone number to call if you don't receive your check um, or if you need to change any information around. So that's the latest information I have. Like I said, it may be updated. There may be current information, but as of last night, that's what I saw and heard. And um, so, yeah, I think that I, they, I heard them saying they were going to be starting in April to send out these checks. So I don't think it's going to take till December to do it. But anyway, I hope that helped. I hope everyone's having a great day and God bless. Bye.